Each individual has their own ways of thinking and opinions on different matters. When it comes to the word mind, some of us may associate it with the word creativity, while others may simply think of it as an intangible used in problem solving and logical thinking. Perhaps it would now be a good time to talk about personalities? No, I'm not talking about the 16 personalities, just a small part of it. Some people are hot tempered and might even have anger issues where they go on a rampage once a slight inconvenience comes their way. That is definitely not healthy for their mental well being or their inner balance. They might, for example, break their fancy devices then regret it later, or maybe explode their anger out on people around them, negatively affecting the mood of other people who are simply minding their own business. Do not attempt to calm them down if you don't know how. Saying calm down usually does not do the trick unless you want a hotter mess. You're more likely to explode when you're stressed or tired, or maybe you've been bottling up your emotions for one too many days. It's important to keep your stress levels in check. If you're too stressed or angry, your ability to think logically is thrown out the window. You might think too hard on a simple task and not get anything done. If you know you're stressed, consider calming down. You're welcome. It's obviously easier said than done, but ideally you'd want to calm down and remain calm if you're trying to figure out a way to solve a problem. It could even be helpful if you were to ask someone else for help or advice, but let's be real here. Most of us don't want to bother other people for seemingly unimportant matters. Even more so if you're going to expose yourself and going to have to pay another person to have them listen to your rumbling. It's like you're forcing them to listen with bribery. I guess that's what we call therapy? Money please, then I'll listen to you. <laughs> therapy can help if you don't think of it in a negative way. But the only thing that comes to my mind if I were to ever have a therapist would be the financial resources that I've unnecessarily wasted just for another person to remind me what I already know. Having a better outlook on ways to help your mental well-being can really help. If someone you know is in a messy situation and is emotionally drained, do not attempt to say you understand and give an irrelevant example. If they were to say they broke up with their girlfriend or something, do not go up and say I understand, my dog died when I was 6. That will just make them dislike you and think of you as a bad listener. Because of all the problematic situations that can arise from asking other people for help, try to calm down by doing things you like, alone. Some alone time could do wonders for everyone. Do whatever you desire, but do make sure that there's nobody around to be judging you. Only start to think of a solution when you're certain that you are calm, motivated, and ready enough. After all that energy wasted and after all the damage done, it's probably a good time to take a well-deserved rest. With the problem done and dusted, with the emotions under control, sustain the peacefulness and balance for as long as possible. Sure, it's easy to be glowy and organized for a short period of time, but the problem most people face is sustaining their well-being without faking it. After all, it's not wrong to be sad from time to time. Just because others told you to be positive doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be optimistic about everything. Trying to trick yourself into thinking that everything is fine is even worse than accepting that it's bad and trying to fix it. If you're uncomfortable sharing your problems, attempt to fix it by yourself. If that still does not work out in the end, then maybe it's a good time to ask someone for help.